All right, lesson 30, or lesson seven, page 30. You guys just about there in your book, opened up. So you can see where we're working. So in this lesson, we are working on lines, segments, and rays. Have you guys heard of lines, segments, and rays before? Alan, have you? No? Brady, have you heard of lines, segments, and rays? Yeah? Grace, have you worked with those before? Not sure? Okay. That's fine. We are going to go through it right now. Okay. So, first off, let's start with, so on page 30, let's start with a segment. Actually, let's start with just a regular line. So, a regular line is just going to be this guy right here. That's a line. It has no points on it, no ends, no arrows. This right here, that's just a line. That right there, that's a line. Now, when we have a when we have arrows on the end, that right there is also called a line. So when you have arrows on both sides saying that it's going to infinity and beyond. Through infinity and beyond. You guys should know that reference, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so we go to infinity and beyond in negative world and then also in positive world. So to the left and to the right. So that's a line. Um, a segment is going to look like this. There's going to be an end. End points. So right here, this point. That is saying that there is an end to my line. And this right here, that dot, that is saying that there's a lot, there is an end to my line on that side. So if say this is a point A and this is point B, this would be a line segment from point A to point B. So this is a line segment. So we have a line, that's the first one which is a regular flat line, a line that has two arrows, so an arrow on each side saying that it's going to infinity to the left, infinity to the right, that's the line. And then we have a um, line segment where we have dots. Okay, and then finally we have a ray. A ray is the combination of both a line segment and a line. So we're going to have a point on one end, so filled in dot, and then there will be an arrow going in the other, other direction. That is a line, or a ray, sorry. Got you know, face up here. All want to see my face. Okay, and then in the opposite direction, it's the same way. So those are both called rays. It is it ends on one in one direction, and then it goes into infinity in the other direction. So this first one here, that one, it's gonna all, it's gonna go to the positive direction. So the right is positive. To the left, so the second one that I circled, that is going in the negative direction. All right. Is it starting to come back at all? You guys have worked with these before, right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So now let's go with example one on page 32. Example one on page 32. That's about halfway down on page 32. So example number one. So how long is the line segment? So it shows a ruler right there. I'm going to try and draw this ruler real quick, but you guys have it in your book. Um, it is an inch ruler. I got so it's split up into quarters. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Oh man. Okay. So we have an inch ruler. Right here, this is going to be one. 
I know this is a terrible ruler and I apologize. But if you're looking in your book on example one, you'll see a little line on top. And that line looks like this. It goes from the left end of the ruler to the right. So that's not so that little notch that's right behind one. What is, how long is that line? What is the measurement of it? Yeah, Talon? This is, this is inches. This is an inch, or inch ruler. I'll get some way better picture in your book. One inch and one fourth. I was getting a little nervous there for a second. So one inch and one quarter inch is what we would call this if we were measuring something. Okay. And why is it a quarter inch, Brady? How did you know that? You counted these little tick marks, right? So there's one right there. Two, three, four. Yeah. There's four of them, yep. So this first little mark, since we know that there's one, two, three, four, this right here is gonna be the first out of the four. Yep. Yeah, that's why looking at it in the book helps a lot. So looking on page 32 really helps. Yes, exactly. So, so let's work just out of our book on example two because I'm not very good at drawing rulers as we just discovered. Example two on page 32, how long is the line segment right there? Alan, how long is that line segment? Is it two inches? Two centimeters, yep. So always make sure you have the correct units, two centimeters, okay? So another way of writing two centimeters would also be 20 millimeters, okay? So that would be the same answer if you were to say 20 millimeters. And that's because there are 20 of those ticks until you get to two. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah? Okay. That is all I have for you guys for your lesson. Yep. So you have A through F on, so starting on page 32, A through F, that goes on to page 33. And then for your questions, you have one through 29 odd. Okay, so go ahead and write that on your piece of paper for homework. So for homework, write lesson seven at the top. So you can just write L7 like I did earlier. Lesson seven, page 32, page 32, A through F, numbers one through 29 odd. So you guys have 10 more minutes of science class to work on this, and then you also have your entire math class to work on this. All right, you guys feel good? All right, if you have questions, let me know. I'm gonna finish up with Johnny here now.